Okay, so over the last week, uh, you've probably been looking at the videos I've uploaded of this building here being built 10 years ago. 10 whole years ago, 2011 we built this. Now it's actually before I really started doing YouTubing. Um, so 2011 I did a lot of filming, but I didn't actually up start uploading till YouTube regularly as The Funky Farmer until 2012. I'd done bits and pieces before then. But 2012 was my, well, 2022 is my 10th anniversary. But 2011, we built this shed and I just started sort of doing camcorder work. So what you saw in the last week was from my archive, the, the unpublished um, video of this shed being built. Um, I pretty well captured most of it from ground up, but not quite all. Um, I didn't actually do a, a walk around inside the shed when it was finished, which is a bit of a shame. But what I have got is a little bit of archive footage of us having a party in this shed in 2011 as a kind of celebration of it being finished. And if you look very closely, you might see a very young Jack or even a very young Harry. I can't remember. You'd have to look on the video. Either my wife's pregnant with, with Harry or he's a little baby. I can't remember when I'm, I'll have to look at the video myself after I put it on here. Um, so we're going to watch that in a minute. And then I'm going to do a walk around in, inside. So sit back, enjoy this brief moment of a, a little bouncy pa castle party with all my friends and their children in the shed. And then we'll go back in. Put this up this year. Yeah. So it's lucky it's not been used yet, so it's all good and clean. Yeah. You're gonna win from the tier, no? Child! <laughs> Right, so that was 2011, we're in 2021, we're going to go and have a look at this shed. It's not weathered badly, um, what is really funny, okay, I didn't film the guys hanging the gates on it, but, this is really bizarre, their footprints from 10 years ago are still on the gate. Let's have a look. Can you believe this? Look. Now can you make out, can you make out a footprint there? And a footprint there, and there, and a bit of one there. And look, you can actually see a bit more of it. Well, that's probably the clearest. <laughs> so what was really funny is that was delivered on a back of a, 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 tr a truck. And the guy, I remember him walking over it, it was just delivered here. Walked over it 10 years ago with his muddy trainers on. And those marks have stayed on there. 
Anyway, right, let's have a little walk in. Everyone always asks me for tours, but I don't like doing them because of security reasons. But we'll do a, a tour of this shed. Hello. So, as you remember, you might have seen it. Look, there's a, a bit of a flashback to putting the roof on. And there's the roof now, um, 10 years on, the roof is on, and now the cows are in. Um, and here they are, this is our, so these are our dry cows. Hello. They're, we use this as a dry cow shed, primarily just to keep them in before they're due to calve. So in the summer they're outside, but in the winter they come inside and it's it's really good practice to keep the dry cows separate from other cattle because they have a different feeding regime. Look, they've got a we're, we're giving them some mineral licks with silage here. Got this the other day. Whoop. Pre-carver mineral contain elevated levels of essential mineral traces. Easy. So we're giving they love that as a lick. But um, we had these galvanized barriers put in, they work really well. But also we keep a keep a few bales at the back. But the bales are in the back of here. I'll be using those later in here. And the good old hedge trimmer is right at the back. We use these before we get them out of there. And uh, oh, God, I just caught that on the, on the bale. Right, let's just have a look around here. There's something interesting. So you might remember 10 years ago when you saw the kids, they were writing on the wall in that party. Now all the wall, writing of the wall from that part, all the writing on the wall from that part is gone, but there is a very vague one. I think my nephew did this 10 years ago. Still here. Can you just about make it out? It actually says William Cornock. I think it said William Cornock's barn at one point, maybe below, and that's nearly gone now. But 10 years ago, my dad was still alive and we built this barn. It was one of his last projects, and what a lovely project it was. Look, we just have a flashback of putting that, um, putting that panel in. Look, this is what it looked like when they dropped it in. There's a couple of flashbacks I've done there. What I'll do at the end of this video, I think I'll put a very quick speed up montage on it just to see uh, the whole building being put up. But let's go round to the other side, which is a really handy little store. Look, you can see, still see on there the marks where they said mark the level for the latches. Anyway, I'm gonna go over here. One thing I always like is my gates to line up. I hate it when gates drag. So you can see there, they still latch 10 years on. Right, so what we've got in this bit, we keep all our big bale straw here. Let's run down the side, look. We've got a lot of straw in at the moment because it's the start of the year. Start of winter anyway, not start of year. Start of winter, so when you've got, you got lots of straw, by, by um the uh, spring, that'll probably be quite empty. Well, I'm just gonna climb up on here. And get a better view of the cows. So, really handy this little bit. I'll just do, I'll just do a flashback actually. You can just see when we, when we cut the, the level of the uh, shed, there was a drop in the soil. So what we did, rather than take this piece down and have a, a drop next to the shed there, we left this raised bit of dirt and we used this for the straw. We put the, the slabs here, the wall here, to create a device. So we can just chuck straw over there for bedding. So literally, I'm cutting pieces in the morning over there, drop them down. Quite fun climbing up there. Uh, 
And then also I can just take straw in and out, but it makes a really handy storage area of a difficult space with the different levels. So I'll just drop this bit of footage in. You can see the different level where they, where they cut it. It's a big digger. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, so you see what I mean about the uh, the level there, and it was a difficult one, but I think we did the right thing. And of course, potentially, if you really wanted to extend it, you could probably take these uh, concrete dividing walls out and just dig, take that that soil out. You could, in, and someone in the future could make this into a bigger barn if they wanted to. So that potential's still there, but that was a good good work for us because we got this area here with the straw. But anyway, it's a lovely shed. It's the only shed we've got with this Yorkshire Borden on, actually, and it's something, some of the other sheds, that the other shed we've got at the other end, we could do with Yorkshire boarding on it, and I keep meaning to take some of the tin out and put Yorkshire boarding in, but it's like one of those jobs, another one, oh, I'll mean to do it next year, next year, and it never gets done, but I will have to do it at some point. But this works so well, because the rain, you think the rain would come through the gaps, but it doesn't. It doesn't come through the gaps, and you end up with a dry shed, but loads of ventilation and the cows really need ventilation that's the most important thing of the lot you don't want an airtight shed people think you want cattle in a shed all snug and warm that doesn't work very well they get things like pneumonia because all the moisture can't escape you want them well ventilated airy they're outside animals anyway they're not like us they don't want to be shut in a room with loads of central heating on here we go girls right are you all right you love your shed don't you hello hello anyway i hope you enjoyed that 10 year sort of uh flashback i have a few other videos in archive but um they might pop up one day i've still got a slurry lagoon archive you'll see that maybe 10 20 years time i always like to keep you on your toes so uh anyway i'm gonna crack on now here is a little bit of super fast shed building but i'll leave you with this from 2011 Crack on everyone, see you in 2022, Funky Farmer 10 years anniversary. And of course, I'll be back before 2022, don't you worry. I've got something up my sleeve for Farmer P. I've ordered something dodgy for him. And also, come on, we'll have to do some Christmas jokes or something. By the way, just a quick note. <laughs> Ages ago, or a few weeks ago, I said, uh, oh, I'm feeling a bit down, can you write some jokes? Uh, thank you everyone who did that on the, on the videos, on the comments, put joke comments, because they were really funny. And one chap's been sending me regular jokes as well by email. Really good. Do you know, I, I really do appreciate everyone giving me feedback, you know, and helping me along. You know, farming's not the easiest job, solitary job, and sometimes, you know, just need a little bit of cheering up, don't you? Anyway, crack on everyone. I'll keep smiling if you do. Woo!